All right, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, Bio Dragon. Decided to use a little bit of snippet time. Something I'm going to try to do more often uh, to help explain a little things about mental health, depression, the sun around, and anxiety. A lot of people have read, you know, different streamers out there, and even some of the wrestlers out there. You know how anxiety is a real thing; it needs to be treated real. Same as depression, so I figure I'll take a little moment to go over someone explained to me when it came to depression. So, depression was described to me that there's two variants of depression, such as you have situational depression, where a situation makes you depressed, and clinical depression, where the chemical imbalances in your head creates the issues of depression, and that's not controllable. Clinical depression tends to be the issue where you need medicine to help keep it under control. It is a lifelong struggle. And to me, I think anxiety can follow a very similar example. You probably have clinical anxiety, which is just like depression. There's a chemical imbalance going on in the head you don't know about, you can't control. That needs medical attention and needs therapy to help maintain a balance. And likewise, there's probably even situational anxiety that happens. Which, I guess, my best way of describing that is maybe your own worst enemy. You don't realize it. That's not to say that whatever's going inside your head is a lie. It's more saying that, hey, of course it's real, but... The most important thing you're going to have to know and learn is the only person you, you know, can rely on. Sorry, let me rephrase that. It is important to remember that you need to be honest for yourself because no one else will be honest for you. So you need to be able to communicate what that anxiety level means, what that depression means. Especially it's not something that is a contrary factor that's a chemical imbalance in the head. So you can get the proper help for it. Oh yeah, I think that's a lot better. It's how I describe it in my own head, so, but... There's a lot of different issues in this world that can create anxiety and depression. Maybe politics gets you down, it's pretty common. Especially, you know, USA politics goes off deep in some of the worst ways possible, but that'll be a different snippet for down the road. But you're not alone in whatever you feel and whatever you think. Don't be afraid to speak out. Don't be afraid to seek help. Ever. It's important to speak your mind. Maybe it's a relationship issue, lack of relationship, getting you down. It's kind of my own like little personal struggle, my own kind of situational depression or situational anxiety, which is what I would probably describe, because in my mind, I'm not meeting up to the status quo. But, you know, there's a lot of aspects of life, expectancies that you want people to live up to, but those expectancies aren't supported. They're not even protected by law, as far as I'm concerned. And it's important that unite it, we overcome these boundaries. So things like anxiety don't overcome us, or depression overcome us. Even mental illness, mostly to a degree. To me, mental illness is probably mostly clinical. It is definitely something in the head that needs to be dealt with. If it's situational, I think self-situation no mental illness you gotta find a way to get trouble that's psychology you know I was raised understanding that you know I think therefore I am no we are in the ones in control of our own mental state and it's important you know to educate yourself to be you know as learned as you can to master all these little tidbit factors in life and reality and because of that, you know, it can be overwhelming. It can be tough. But it's something you can always just talk about and discuss. 
I've been through plenty of therapy sessions throughout my life. I probably have a better overall grasp on certain mental stages and other people. You don't have to be certified or have degrees and being a good person. But, you know, I'm definitely that individual out there. If I could wage a magic wand to make everything better, I would. So, but since that magic don't exist, I have ears. I can listen. I want to make the time to hear anyone out. I'd rather do that than learn that a few moments of my time could have prevented a tragedy going on in this world. And a loss that doesn't need to happen. But, you know, that's what good people do. Don't give up on good people. One of the recent scenes in a Pixar film, I don't know what the new newer Pixar film is. Apologies there, but... Yeah. I just felt a need to have this little snippet about mental health. There's a wonderful video out there with some e AEW wrestlers who talk about it. Look it up. Share it. And I think that unit with through unity, through being united, through being in equality at all, we can help conquer things like depression and anxiety and mental illness. We can put an end to a lot of the evils going on out there that through just basic communication, basic understanding, a willingness to hear, comprehend, learn, these things can be conquered. And that, to me, is the main purpose of me doing these snippets to share and get out there the basic fundamentals of the information that I can in my own life experiences. And personally, think we can, through unity, help end common problems that we don't see common. It's not about getting over ourselves. Maybe it is to some people. It should not be about, you know, a need to take a pill because you have drug addiction issues. Here is that takes away from people who are battling uh, anxiety or depression. And, you know, I just know from experience from my having an ex-girlfriend, you got sections of towns and things out there where that's a very huge problem. Drug addictions and that conspiracy in my mind is one way to where it also plays it really affects a progress in putting it in to the unbalance of human psychology in this world. So, I'm willing to fight and be with your side to overcome any anxiety going on out there, any depression or mental illness going on out there. It's the least I can do. I believe in being a good human being. I may not be perfect, but I will always strive to be the best who I can ever be, no matter what. No matter what odds are up against me, no matter what nouns I may or may not agree with. Once again, future snippets. And I hope everybody out there learns, hears, understands, and finds ways of getting the help you need if you need it. Being the support if you can. And I think that should pretty much sum up at least my understanding of anxiety, depression. You know, we can do this, folks. We absolutely can. And with that, I'll leave it there. Be good, be strong, and be safe. And I will be right back once I put this up on YouTube. To play some Final Fantasy 14 for y'all. Thank you. Peace.